So you guys, I am heading out tonight. We are going to a Marlon Wayans comedy show, but we do have dinner reservations beforehand. So I'm about to just kind of get all my belongings into the bag I'm bringing and head out because we have to go all the way uptown. Marlon Wayans is going to be showing tonight in the Apollo Theater. And we also have reservations for dinner beforehand and it takes forever to get uptown. <coughs> Okay y'all, so I packed my bag. I threw on like this little leather jacket. And for fragrance, I'm gonna mix this Chant by Chanel and Victor and Rolf's Liquid Diamonds. Victor and Rolf is known for their like flower bomb, but their Liquid Diamonds also smells really, really good. And I've been into mixing my fragrances lately. So yeah, I'm heading out, I'm so late. brushing my teeth and stuff and I have to do laundry and I really don't want to do laundry but it's gotten a little out of control so I'm actually gonna go to the laundromat to do my laundry if I go to the laundromat I'll probably be able to do all my loads at the same time really quickly I'm going to throw some sweats on head there and maybe I'll pick it back up with you guys when I'm cooking dinner maybe because I really don't have much else planned for today but oh the last time I checked in with you guys um I went to the Marlon Wayne's comedy show at the Apollo Theater and it was actually really really cool I believe that was like my no that was my second comedy show like live in person Ow. that was my that was my second comedy show live in person and I really really enjoyed it a lot <coughs> he ended up being like three hours late like something crazy like two or three hours late it was ridiculous but in the end we really did have a good time but yeah i took my lashes off if you aren't able to tell um they were really cute really easy to put on really easy to take off i believe that's the first time i tried that brand's like full lash kit um i've tried their lashes before but just with like another lash glue but the whole lash kit is like really really cute i'm gonna go ahead and link that lash kit down below if any of you guys want to try it out Apparently. 
apparently y'all you're supposed to boil the skins of your pineapple to make a tea to lose belly fat I don't know how true that is but one of my clients told me that and yeah I haven't tried it but somebody should give it a try and let me know if it's true or not If you guys have not tried pineapple and ginger together in a smoothie, you are missing out. So I've literally been trying to get my room pretty organized and under wraps because because I kind of want to water all sides of me. I feel like I haven't been watering my creative side and my creative side is like 90% of me. So yeah, I'm going to finish cleaning up my room. I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. <laughs> too much yesterday um after i cleaned my room i kind of just edited for a little bit until i got really tired and then i went to sleep this morning i woke up pretty early and went to like a women's meeting at my church it was so uplifting really 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 enjoyed that right now i'm getting ready to Head out tonight. We are going to see Chris Tucker. Our seats for Marlon Wayne's were pretty good. We did sit in the balcony, but our seats tonight for Chris Tucker are floor seats and we're literally front row. So I'm really excited for that. They aren't letting us bring in our phones though. They use those yonder pouches, which is basically like a cell phone pouch that locks and you can't open it, I believe, until. I believe you can't open it until the show is actually finished and you can only access it at certain access points within the theater. So Chris Tucker is going to be at Beacon Theater tonight but just like last time we actually have dinner reservations beforehand we're going to the Ribbon. It's like literally walking distance to the Beacon Theater so we'll be in the area. It's 434 right now and I already washed and everything. I actually retwisted my braids too because they were looking like a little scruffy and I know I was going out tonight and I just wanted to look a little bit more presentable. That's why I have this like little clip here. But I bought this braiding lock gel twisting and I'm gonna show you guys what I used. So this is the Neat Braid Conditioning Shining Gel just to focus you guys can screen shot this and use it to either do your own braids or retwist your braids when they start looking a little crazy it looks a little green but it's actually clear and it didn't give me like that white cast flakiness and my friend actually put me onto this she said that the majority of the braiders she knows uh, they opt for this gel so it was only $6.99 got it from my local beauty supply store so I'm sure you should be able to find them there too but yeah onto this face I cleaned it off with some alcohol I did my eyelashes again I used the same kit that I used the last time and I believe my map is 15 and 16 on the outsides. 
and then I did four 14s in the center and then 13, 12, 11, 10. The last comedy show, I left my house so late. It wasn't even funny. Like we missed our whole first reservation and had to opt for the restaurant I went to for my birthday because it was literally like across the street. But I'm really into trying new things. Like I want to try new restaurants. I don't want to eat at the same restaurants unless it's Tao. I absolutely love Tao. I will eat at Tao a million times. The sun is coming down, you guys. So I'm sorry if my lighting is a little wonky. At the very last minute, I ran out to get some tights because I'm wearing like a super, super mini skirt tonight and I wanted tights to go underneath it. But I feel like this is in another language and I don't know what Juliet 50 Den is, but I'm, guess I'm guessing... I'm guessing that the den means density. This is sheer, so I, I think this is the one that I need. But the sizes are like 3, 4XL. This one got a decimal, TG.3. I just didn't know what was going on, so I bought all three. And I'm going to try them on right now. Because I think it's this one I need, but I'm not 100% sure. Ew, no, these are gray. Oh my gosh, y'all. These are gray. Okay, so the ones that I thought I wanted are freaking gray. I guess that's what um, anthrice, anth anthrice mean, means, meant. I don't know. I'm going to try this one. Jesus, please be. This one is gray too. Are you kidding me? Okay. This one is carbon or carbon. Okay, these are dark, but I don't think these are sheer enough. I'm literally about to cry because like, who even wears gray tights? Yeah, these are not sheer enough, you guys. I'm so pissed. How do I strike out three different times? Like, and these are the perfect sheerness, but they're just not the right color. Okay, Kiana, what do we do? You have to be ready in five minutes. I'm going to try on these and just pray to God that they work. I'm so pissed and I really don't have time for a whole outfit change. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep an open mind. Because these could possibly, you know, be sure enough for you. Oh, something told me this was going to happen. No, these are not sharing up. I'm about to cry. What the freak? I am so pissed right now. Like, I have, like, tights that I could wear, but they're just not sheer tights. Like, how do I strike out three different times? That's why I bought three. I was hoping at least one would work, but I wasn't expecting it to be gray. It didn't look gray in the... Oh, gosh. happy thanksgiving it is a few days later and it is thanksgiving day it's about 12 43 right now and um i'm about to start 
cooking. I prepped some food yesterday. I'm gonna do some curry shrimp and some fish since I can't eat any meat. So that'll be like my protein. The last time I picked it up with you guys, I believe we went to go and see Chris Tucker. And I guess my whole thing was if he was gonna be funnier than Marlon Wayne's. My personal humble opinion he was not he was not funnier he was more commercial like he was a lot more clean if you know what i'm saying marlon was more raw saying things he ain't supposed to say kind of funny and i opt my vote is on marlon but it was still a really good experience. Um, I would say the theater that we went to, the Beacon Theater, I love the whole process of like checking tickets, locking our phones up. That's why I didn't really get much content of like being inside there because they had our phone in these yonder pouches and they only unlock like at certain access points. But it was really cool because I got to engage and actually have conversations instead of just like being on my phone 24-7. So that was pretty cool. But um, yeah, the show in itself, like presentation wise, was better for Chris Tucker. Um, I definitely opt for the Beacon Theater over the Apollo. But um, just the whole like, you guys will see it because it'll be on Netflix. But like he came out, there was smoke, there was lights, he had like a sparkly suit. It was the whole nine. So that was pretty cool. And our seats were, our seats were good for Marlon, don't get me wrong. But our seats were like in the orchestra for Chris Tucker. And if he sweat, I could, it would probably drop on me. Like we were kind of scared that like, because he was cracking on people in the crowd, especially people that was like coming in late and making a whole skeptical out of them. And we were so scared. Like, bro, I hope this man don't call on us. But he didn't. Thank God. But nonetheless, like I said, today is Thanksgiving. And I'm about to start maybe prepping some of the food. I seasoned, like I said, the fish and the shrimp yesterday. But the macaroni noodles need to be boiled. So I think I might go ahead and do that. And I'll probably do like the cornbread last because that's only like a few ingredients. I'm using the Jiffy Box. Let's go downstairs and be annoying. Hey, Dad. Mm. The turkey's ready already. Right? So you're gonna warm it back up? No, it's supposed to sit. Most of the turkey sits. Come on now. Have y'all tried seaweed strips? Cheers. <laughs> I don't like it though. You like it? It's alright. Mm. Rochelle, it tastes so fishy. It got chili lime. It tastes like fish food. You never tried fish food? Oh no, I can't eat that. Would you ever like sushi, right? Mm -hmm. How Kiana not, not like it? That's strange. But sushi has other things in it. <laughs> Come here, bro. You hear it? Do you feel it, Mr. Krabs? You know how you, know how you look around to like hear the song? Did she have him? She said? Can he hear it? I think he can because he's saying still. What song is playing? Some sizzle song. <laughs> <laughs> you have my dog listening to reggae? Dance hall? Yeah, no, I'm trying to see. Dance hall, dance hall. It's a Jamaican dance. How about spending, you know, because she thinks this is leisure. You see how her ass kind of just sit down? You, 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 you know this, right? Um, Mom, what's on the menu? menu? We got turkey wings. We got turkey. We got pasta shell. She's making two types. She has seafood, pasta shells for the queen. No meat. She's making a pasta shells right now. She's putting salmon and crab. Not the imitation crab. The good crab meat. And then she's doing the ones with Italian sausage and beef. She's literally ignoring me right now. <laughs> anyway, she's doing yams. She's doing collard greens with smoked turkey neck bones. I know that's right. It's good. Um, what else is on the list? Mixed vegetables. She's doing a trifle, which is that's like a a British dish, right? With Devonshire custard. What else is she doing? I'm pissing her off. I know. 
she's doing oh macaroni well we're doing macaroni mom did i leave something out oh she's doing chicken ch chicken lo mein <laughs> boo you stink boo you stink turn it turn the handle towards you Monkey on it. It's a rocket science. Did I break? Mom, did I break? Thanksgiving was on Thursday, so it's the Monday after Thanksgiving, and I am working from home, so I have my laptop here, and I'm just getting some work done. My dog is sitting over there in the window being nosy, but yeah. Sorry if my energy seems a little down. I'm just mentally preparing myself for all the work I have to catch up on. Because being out of the office for two weeks is a bit much. And I have deadlines like to meet as soon as I get back in. So I'm going to try to get a head start on some of those deadlines today. 
so that I can meet them within the week. Um, since I'm going back to work tomorrow, I also need to meal prep. I seasoned some salmon I got from Whole Foods because there ain't no leftovers. I mean, there are leftovers, but if you eat leftovers day four, you're nasty, okay? Is it day four? Yeah, day four. Day four leftovers is mad crazy. And you're going to give yourself some kind of worms. <laughs> Probably run to the supermarket to get some, like, salad. Maybe some romaine. To chop up and just have salmon salads for lunch this week. I've actually been doing that a lot. Like, salmon salads have been my go-to. It's light, but the salmon is definitely filling enough. So I'm not, like, miserable. Because I'm still keeping up with this diet of mine. Although Thanksgiving, I cheated just a little bit. I'm not even going to lie. I cheated just a little bit. But I didn't have no meat. So no turkey, no anything. I had fish, of course. But no meat. So I'm going to have that for lunch. It's kind of already prepped. I just got to pop it into the office. Into the office. Pop it into the oven, like I said. But had a really good thanksgiving i really enjoy spending quality time with whoever i love and care about quality time is literally my jam like it's literally my love language i wanted to show you guys what i got in the mail i got the dior christmas what is it called holiday lipstick kit set apparently this is something that they do every year and i literally just found out about it how did you find out about it kiana through tiktok like i found out like i find out about everything else and um it's super cute because apparently the bag or the little makeup camera case that it comes in actually doubles for a bag as well and they actually send you like a gold chain to clip onto the makeup case to make a bag and it kind of reminded me of the whole louis vuitton vanity case trend that was going on the clear case with the white louis vuitton monogram logo and the girls were buying like the twilly and making it into like a little handle it kind of gave me the same vibe of that and i didn't get to participate in that trend so i definitely wanted to participate in this trend that i see going on so the bag is i believe the bag is gold so it's literally gonna go with everything they give you a bunch of samples which i also seen a lot of girls posting on there you kind of get to choose your samples too when you're buying directly from the dior website it may be cheaper on like nordstrom or other websites but when you buy it from the dior website you get like a whole bunch of really really nice free samples i haven't gotten the chance to open this yet because i actually want to do a cute unboxing since it's gift wrapped so nicely so I'm going to try my best to do that today. If I get my like my job job work out the way, then I'll be able to have fun and create some content to post on Instagram and TikTok. So I took a little breaky break, made myself a dairy-free banana apple smoothie with dates as my sweetener. It tastes really good. I got two packages. Um, I believe one is from like before Black Friday. But the mango package is the package that I'm excited about. That one is, I think I ordered that on Black Friday. It's like a trench coat in black. I'm really excited to like see what it looks like. I'm going to link it in the description box. 
but it's like a normal pea coat or trench coat jacket with the lapels and the belted waist. I'm gonna finish up my workload for today and I'll pick it back up later.